Hey there folks, and welcome to Diablo 2. So, today, we're going to be gambling. Spending that gold that uh, we collected in the uh, in the last video. So, for gear, all we need are Geed's Fortune and, uh, and an Edge Bow. Which are two items that have reduced all vendor prices. I think if you're online, there's one of the charms that also has reduced vendor prices you would want to also uh, run that if you have access to it I do not so I'm not so yeah so gambling is a good way to uh, burn off the gold you find through gold find runs or just in general what do you want to gamble well I've got on the right a handy dandy little list so I'm uh, listing rings as the best option just because there are a number of builds that do need rare rings. They make good use of them and rare rings you're more likely probably per amount of gold to see a good rare ring than you are anything else. Um, also just you can get insane rare rings, right? There are so many builds that need faster cast rate and you know stuff like mana and magic find and stats you know strength and dexterity life resistances are really good on those and then you've got also for your melee characters stuff like uh, mana leech life leech you can get both on a ring you can get like attack rating again mana and and life and and stats are great fast cast rate is great for the melee builds you can even get some integer damage some plus bin plus max damage which isn't that amazing but it does help if it's there so rare rings are pretty awesome we don't have one on the uh, on this particular screen but circlets are also great uh, like two to a class skill 20 faster cast rate two open socket rare circlets are like the dream good luck with those but uh, you know they, they can happen you can also get a lot of like more corner case uh, particular potentially useful circlets especially like a plus three to a skill tab like a plus three uh, poison and bone with like 20 percent fast cast rate that uh, you can then take to Larzic and maybe you've got uh, you've got a chance to get two sockets there what we're gonna be focusing on though is amulets and really for amulets what you're uh, what you're gambling for is to have amulets to use, uh, or at least what I'm using them for is to have amulets to use on grafting. See, so let's pick up a cornet here. Cornets also fall under circlets, circlets and cornets. Same, same thing for what we're talking about here. Yeah, see, we got plus two to uh, all druid skills. It's garbage. We're not going to keep it, but still, that's. Uh, that's a thing that happened. That's, you know, if we had that plus some other things, that could be cool. The thing with um, getting amulets is there's so many good options already between Mara's, High Lords, and uh, Talrash's Adjudication for Sorceresses, and then just Crafted Amulets. It's so hard to get a rare that's actually any good that... You know, I wouldn't recommend burning much more than you need just to gamble for, uh, to keep your crafting stock up. But on occasion, you can luck out. Keep in mind that, uh, if you get, and we didn't even get a rare here, if you get, uh, like, plus two to a class skills and ten faster cast rate and some other juicy mods, you can have something that's actually better than a lot of crafted amulets because the crafted amulet, uh, a high, a high ranking one will get plus 22 required level on um, on the amulet so um, yeah, I don't have one here probably not gonna see one but uh, the plus to class skills like plus to sorceress plus to druid plus to assassin is actually only required level 67 so a rare with that and nothing higher could be equipped at, uh, at level 67 Whereas the exact same loadout of skills on a craft would 
not be equipable till 89. So it's worth keeping an eye on your amulets when you, uh, when you gamble them, but don't really expect anything. So below that I have boots, belts, and clubs. I listed them as meh. The thing is, unless you know exactly what you're looking for, like if you're gambling for, say, gold fine boots, okay. That's, that's fine. You're probably still better off just picking up boots and checking them. Um, the thing is, it's so, so hard to get any of those three slots to beat something you'd be wearing as a set or a unique, like a, a um, Arachnid's Mesh, the um, Razor Tail for, for like uh, Amazon builds, a uh, String of Ears, any of these things, it's so, so tough to get a belt that's going to compete with that. Likewise, for the gloves, you know, you've got caster gloves, you've got um, laying of hands, these things, chance guards, all these things are just very tough to beat. And war travelers, gore riders, again, very, very tough to beat unless you're looking for something very specific. Or if you're gambling these slots looking for like low level dueling gear, if, if you're into that or something. And you, and you need rares in those slots, just know what you're doing if you want to, uh, if you're gonna throw uh, gold at uh, those items. And then I have everything else as a no. Like, uh, gambling ancient armors to try to get a Tyrael's Might. No, don't, don't, no, just no. No, don't, no. Uh, trying to, trying to gamble a J-Mod, Jeweler's Monarch of Deflection. No, just no. The odds are so ungodly bad. There is no way that it is possibly even remotely anywhere near a reasonable use of your money to do that. Um, it's you're you're throwing away time uh, by doing that. And yeah, the other thing to keep in mind, I'm not gonna sit here and like uh, gamble a full inventory necessarily. The other thing to keep in mind is like uh, when you're gambling, the items you can get, right, are gonna range between five levels less than your character's current level and four levels higher than your character's current level. There are a lot of different things that can matter for, but I'm just going to focus on at the high level. What that means is ideally you start gambling at level 93 because then you can gamble amulets and then uh, roll those same amulets. Any, any amulet you get, you can, uh, you can craft with that and have a chance to get a uh, plus two skill tab because that requires you to have uh, an ending item level of 90 or above. Now, so 93 is, is what you're looking for there. I've got it over to the side, but just, just so we're clear. 95 is a point where you can, all the, uh, all the amulets that you gamble have a chance to have plus two, uh, plus two class skills on them. And yeah, I think that'll about do it. Yeah. So hopefully that's in some way useful. I mean, I'm doing this anyway. I figure I can do a little bit of primer on what to gamble and all that. Hopefully that's useful. If there are any questions, go ahead and ask. Let me know. Thanks for watching. See you some other time.